sequence. Oh wow. A love. A love. A love. I love. I just I just I love this wall. Good morning. So today is the day that I have been the most excited for, uh, which is fabric shopping in the LA district. So I have Terry behind me. He's hey, also hey. excited. And of course, Diana beside me. So uh, yes, we are just driving at the moment, finding a location to uh, park. And uh, I'm gonna give you some commentary that uh, Diana's gonna give us as we go through the first bit of the fat. Well, is it the fashion or fabric district? What is it? Um, I think it's a little bit of both, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> so LA Fashion District is adjacent and around here. There are places that do that make ready ready to wear clothes um, and manufacture clothing. But then we also have fabrics, notions, um, trims, laces, things like that here. We also have. Um, wholesale party goods as well as uh, flowers both live and fake um, Yeah, there's just it's just a lot. I don't know if you want to have a wedding you can do <laughs> Fabulous. All right, let's do it. Diana is explaining uh, What we're seeing on the roads here. So there was Puril back there. What was well, what so was Puril is a is a lace and trim seizure, but it's a it's a beautiful lace and trim seizure <laughs> Uh, we passed Michael Levine's, which is like, if you really need a particular thing and you don't feel like digging, it's a very good place to do that. Um, we have some home stores. Blue Moon is like uh, stretch fabrics and specialty fabrics. We've got some places that do um, like $2 bulk purchasing, but they typically have a minimum. So you need to get at least three yards. Um, home fabrics. We're going up Maple right now. We've just crossed Ninth. There's Angel Textiles, which is quite good if you need like very, very quick stuff. And then there's more trim stores. Um, trim Expo is really great and it is significantly better organized. Um, and then I'm I'm actually like really happy. Athenian Fashions is, is here and they have um, Notions. And then Bohemian Crystal and Beads Factory is still here. They haven't moved yet because they're apparently going to be moving at some point and what a loss that will be for us. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're, we're sort of doing the little, the grand circle tour to, to show some of the places before we find parking in uh, a, a somewhat <laughs> more desirable than not location. Yep. Uh, we're we're outfitted. We've got cash, so we can actually park in a parking lot this time. But, yes. You know, I do. <clears throat> I do tend to park on the street because I hit it and quit it. Yep. Um, like I come in and I do my business and then I leave. But uh, since we'll be here for a while, it would probably be good for us to like pick a parking spot in a centralized area and just be like, all right, we're here now for the day. Fabulous. Let's do it. Gorgeous. So many fabrics. Oh yeah. I'm glad that you're with Perfect us. For <laughs> Beer Bridgerton. Beer Bridgerton. This is a journal. This is, this is what? Journal fabric. Okay. Yeah. I'll bend here and love it. Alright. Well, I mean, wool is it's an irritant, especially if you have any kind of irritant. Yeah. Oh, well, thank, well, thank, thank, you, thank you so you. much. And it just catches light beautifully. You know, like I said, Palpatine's blacks are all of this, and then the front is um, a heavier, more um, like a heavier velvet, like a thicker one. This 
this is a wall of silks. So we've got raw and peony silks up here. Then we've got chiffons. And then we've got beautiful, beautiful um, ones down here as well. Um, and we've got satins over there. And I have bought a whole lot of green already here. So I'm very, very happy with it. Some absolutely gorgeous fabrics. Very good price. I got it for 20 and 25 dollars a meter so or yard so very happy with that hi how are you what do you need man you make it you want it for a oh, wow that's beautiful what do you need mm -hmm. it's um mm -hmm. well they have zippers mm -hmm. how much are your zippers so for my oh 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 god oh, oh. <laughs> Diana's excited. Oh, wow. Oh, this is definitely. You think it looks amazing on the outside? You should see it on the inside. I will be going inside very shortly. I love, I just, I just, I love this wall. I love this wall. So it is now just past 4 p.m. <laughs> we started at about half past 10 this morning. Mm -hmm. We have gone to many, but nowhere near, anywhere near even half the amount of stores that are here. Um, we got everything that we needed. It was a focused run. It was, it was, it was a focused, focused run. run. I mean, I'm glad that we had Diana with us because I was, she started off and I was like, me, I was like, wait, let's just go into stores and have a look. And she was like, no, no, friend. What do you actually want? Uh, and then she tailored our experience, which was amazing. And I would say that that's honestly like one of the things that I try to do is you'll see a lot of it while we go to the places. Mm -hmm. Like you'll see, and, and if there's something that you're just like, no, I want to go in that store. Like I have to go into that store. Yeah. Of course, of yeah. course. You know, but if you're coming with an intention, mm -hmm. it is it's so easy to get overwhelmed mm. and it's so easy to go into the first place that you see. And it's also very easy to look at something and not be like, well, but this is home store. Yeah. Like one of the first places we went into is the home store and they do have some really magnificent fabrics yeah. that you can adapt to pretty much anything. Exactly. And, and we did end up buying some things from this. So that was really good. Uh, but you got bullied into I got bullied got into bullied buying into some, some I was like, I need like half a yard and they were like, Well there's like there's nearly two yards, two yards here. left on the the bolt. So yeah, like but this one this other one is sixteen dollars a yard and that's what absolutely what we thought we this were was. gonna be doing and they were like twenty five dollars and you take all, All of it. it. <laughs> and, we're like, and now Kimberly's gonna have. And a now I'm Tinkerbell. just gonna have a tink enough fabric for a Tinkerbell. Um, so yeah, it was, <laughs> it was good fun. It was good fun. There was very little haggling, which um, makes me quite happy. Um, though you know, we were told one fabric for Terry was eight dollars a yard, and then I came back later and I was like, yeah, we'll get like four yards of this, and they're like how much would you like to to give us for this and i was like 
six dollars a yard and they were like done yeah i was like should have gone to four um <laughs> admittedly you did get a very good deal on several other pieces i at that did store. i did i bought a lot of silk from that store and it <laughs> was uh a lot of fun so now we're gonna go and get something to eat because we are starving because we are living on a hope and a prayer and a croissant Yes, from this we're, morning. We're going to go to Cole's, the French dip, the originators, according to themselves, of the French dip in California. Never it's had a, a French dip where it's going to be an experience. Delicious All the panda experiences. But I will catch up with you guys once we get back and I will show you what we have bought because we bought a lot and um, that will be what we will do and we'll finish up then. So stay tuned. Good morning, it is now the next day because we were so tired when we got home and uh, we went out for dinner and I was literally falling asleep at dinner. So now we're going to show you the haul. I've got wonderful Diana with me who is going to help me try and remember the names. So firstly before we begin I will say this, if you are new to the area or this is your first time visiting please go to the LA Fabric District with someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> because um, it was very disorienting for myself. Like I've got a pretty good like set of bearings, but I could not tell you which street, what store was on. It was, it was very chaotic. Um, I think chaotic is a very good word to describe the LA fabric district, but it is amazing. And we got so much good stuff. Diana took me to all of her favorite stores, um, well Terry and I to her favorite stores, and we got a good haul. Um, the other thing is, is, uh, just, I'm going to say it, just, just be safe when you're going around the LA fabric district because it is not far from Skid Row, yeah. um, which was an experience. Um, I it was, I, mm, it was, I was not quite prepared for that. Was I Diana? No. Um, I would say that, that poverty mm. and, um, being unhoused is a pretty big issue here in Los Angeles. Absolutely. Um, it's something that's going to take time to fix. And the best thing to do is to be aware uh, of yourself and your surroundings, but also be just kind. be kind. Yeah. Yeah. Be kind. Cause a lot of like, a lot of people are one bad day away from from being unhoused. Yeah. So walk with purpose but compassion. Yes. Lovely. Well put. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, let us go to the wonderful hall. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the hall. Oh. Here, <laughs> And Terry's. Oh yeah, that's and true. Terry's. And Terry's. So let's start off over in this corner. We'll go around this way. Yeah. So over here, so these four fabrics here, um, which oh five fabrics, five. sorry. Yeah. These four here are silks, and then that one up there is a polyester. Mm -hmm. Got that one for six dollars a meter. Score, oh, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, and these ones are from Journal Fabrics Incorporated. I think I paid. $20 a yard for this one and then I paid $25 a yard for these ones and they're really really lovely yeah they're I know exactly because you got, you got quite a bit so they actually they, yeah they knocked it down a from bit. 25 and from 28 and then yeah. they knocked it down and that one they were just like here please take it here it's please take orange. it five yeah. people in the world want this You're one of them. <laughs> just take it take it pretty much yeah. so that was good and then over that here that was like mm -hmm. the top of our day yeah yeah this and was then, the first purchase of the day yeah and then we move on to these two gorgeous fabrics um so these are from more of a upholstery kind of house furnishing store more yes. than anything else these are from ellie fred mm -hmm. um which is a really beautifully organized really well put together um, home furnishings uh, and supplies store. I believe they said that the green that you got is actually fire proof. Fireproof, yeah. So this one here is fireproof. It's got asbestos. You're going to be the bell of the ball. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, so I got two yards of that for a total of $25. Yeah, they on. were literally pushing that. They're <laughs> like, listen, it costs 28 but I don't want to roll it back up or give you one yard. So after going back and forth and dropping the number and dropping the number and dropping the number, he was like, just give me $25 to take this away. Just take it. Just take it all. Yeah. What which, are we? What am I going to do with a yard of fabric? I'm like, I'm, yeah. Okay. I don't know, man. What am I going to do yeah, with it? Yeah, pretty and much. in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, so much. So much. So there's that one. And then over here, we had 
just a random find that Diana and I both went, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, this is this beautiful, like, gold fabric with flocked red velvet kind of flowers. It's like a faux jacquard. It's a very, yeah. But it's gorgeous, and um, it was four dollars a yard. Yeah. So I got six it's yards. It's so light too. And I think I'm just gonna make a, a quick and dirty but beautiful Snow White. Like mm -hmm. it's just, it's gonna happen. Have no idea what the name of this store is. I did take a video of it, so I will insert the name uh, it here. It was Fiesta Fabrics. Fiesta Fabrics. There you go. And then moving down here, we got some last lot of, um, this is not silk, but it's a very, very lovely polyester. And that is a stretch. And these fabrics were from where? Those were from Michael Levine's, which is one of our, like, staples. Michael Levine's is a great place for, like, if you're a little overwhelmed and you just want to see things by sections. Mm. Um, it is a little bit pricier. You can't haggle or anything. But if you just, if you're just like, I just want a nice, dull satin in like a good weight. It's a really fantastic mm. place to just go if you're just like, got, gotta got to go fast. Yeah. Uh, Levine's is fantastic. Yeah. And I will say that the w, the WA, mm. <laughs> the LA Fabric District is very overwhelming. So mm. once again, go with a friend. Then we move down to Athenia, um, Athenia Fashions, mm -hmm. which do the most gorgeous different beads. Yeah, they're beads and findings and elements uh, for jewelry making and mm. they have everything from wood to plastic to stone. Um, mm -hmm. They have, they're just a really great like components place mm. if you want to go um, just find things for building for building jewelry. I've been going there for years. Mm -hmm. um, their stock is always changing but then they also have some really fantastic evergreen items and the price point is one of the best. One of the best. Yeah, absolutely. These are stone. These are our stone, and they are three dollars for yeah. for this whole thing. Yeah, so it's yeah. amazing. Phenomenal price point. Really great for building out your elements. Um, they've got leather cording. They've mm -hmm. got waxed cord. Um, everything you could Just possibly very need. Cool. Mm -hmm. Then we move over to this little section here, mm -hmm. and this is a Bohemian crystal, I think mm -hmm. it is. And so we got all of these gold and sparkly beads and many, many seed beads and many different colors of green, shades of green, should shades I say. Um, and these guys, they're pretty decently priced as well. Like, yes. you know, a whole lot of these seed beads were $1.50, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and lovely gold filaments and whatnot. So... Yeah, yeah, they're they're also sort of a staple. It's one of those places that does really great imported uh, um, crystals, uh, diamante. They mm -hmm. call them. Mm -hmm. They just call them crystals. Crystals. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they have they have really great um, imported crystals. They were one of the best places to get Swarovski when Swarovski wasn't being a butt. Uh, they do a really great line for Preciosa. They also just have a lot of older elements in their stock. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking like. I don't believe that Preciosa or MC Stone make these stones anymore. Mm. They're like an AB coated cabochon in like a milky green. Yeah. Um, but I knew that if we went here, it was very likely that we'd find something. But then they also do a phenomenal line of seed beads. Fantastic. Um, just like big everything. beads as well. Big like large it was beads amazing. of varying weight and glass yeah. and plastic. I, this wasn't on my list. I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do for this. And then you were like... I got you, there boo. you go. There you go. Yep. Uh, and then we got one item from Trim well, Expo. Trim Expo, which was a wonderful store with such amazing trim. I mm -hmm. was like patting those flowers. I was like, I love oh. these roses. Yes. So there's that. And then we have like a little bit of uh, <laughs> Diana's stash, which she was <laughs> like, store of Diana. Store of Diana. Oh. Uh, because we went on a we went on quite an adventure for this one. We were yeah, like, we got I, four different versions of this. Yeah, because I couldn't remember if I had black or not, and I was just like, well, you know, the blue would be easy to dye down to black, and uh, the brown would be you'd still be able to black and brown. Yeah, but you know, luckily I did have some of the um, some black, black left over from our many adventures with. Uh, Final Fantasy costumes. Yeah, and then I was agonizing because I'd gotten these years ago from Athenian Fashions, and they were pretty much exactly I think what Terry needed. But now he has a bunch of really amazing options. So he'll really <laughs> he'll get to decide. He'll, what he'll get he to wants play to around do. and see what yeah, works. Yeah, exactly. And then last but not least, we made a stopover to Joanne's mm -hmm. because I had a I had a gift voucher that I needed yeah, to spend. Yeah, cheeky little voucher. Cheeky little voucher. So I got six. <laughs> pattern because 
I love it and mm -hmm. Anne of Cleves so is my bae. So um, then I, like this was just amazing. This is 26 spools of Goodman thread which was $39.99 and then I got 40% off it. 60. Yeah, 60. 60%. Was it 60% off? I think it was a 60% off. Oh wow. So I was like yes I need that in my mm -hmm. life because Goodman's thread is expensive. Here's some more of that trim um, and then some beads for Terry. Um, some little stoppers for potentially some tassels. We'll play around with that. I don't know if I will use that because Diana came home and she was like, there there are some good ones that I have. And then, of course, we have Yaya Han's uh, Ultra Prime. Ultra Prime Gold because oh, this stuff beautiful. is getting harder and harder to find in Australia. And um, to be honest, I'm not even sure that it still is in Australia. I, I know that, like, I know that her, like, hex and stuff fabric is nearly impossible to find now mm. but i think the gold may still be available but i was like i'm not taking the chance let's just get it now okay. so yeah so that was the haul so thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure and also thank you to diana for showing us around the la fabric district so that we didn't get lost and that we didn't get overwhelmed because that was very much a real <laughs> feeling yesterday i mean we went hard we, we started went, we started yeah. at, what 10 30 in the morning and we finished at four yeah, I think so. I and mean, four is about when when things start to shut down, yeah. and and I. But it's also when Cole's the prime rib opens, <laughs> and we had so. a very yummy sandwich. Mm -hmm. So good. So yeah, it was it was a really big day. It was amazing. Um, I think we saw everything that we needed to see, but there were also some fabrics there that were so gorgeous just mm. I had no use for them and they were just out of price point at this point in time yeah. though there was one guy there was one fabric that I really liked and he was like it's $140 40 a yard and I was like it's That's really pretty but no. so much and he was like how many do you need how much do you need I'm like I have no idea what I would make with this and he was like I'll give it to you for 90 yeah like, okay. I, <laughs> just like, I just want to move this out of our store You're probably we're like the going out of the store and he's like I give you this for 90 yeah. <laughs> like, it, it does happen yeah it was it was it was lovely it was lovely he had some beautiful fabrics but yeah, yeah. anyway I will stop this video here because I'm just like gas bagging on thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next one don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment all that good stuff tell us if you've been to the LA fashion district or garment district or Fabric District or whatever it's called. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite store? And what's your favorite store? Uh, all right. Bye.